What's up guys? Hey, it's been a little bit. Uh, I've been working on getting these tensioners all dialed in and I've changed the design a little bit. Um, but I think I got a pretty good, pretty good setup now. Um, I've actually made them out of billet. And, uh, and I think they're going to work awesome. So I'm going to show you guys this. If you guys have been following my social media, you've probably seen them already. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how this works and show you installing it and uh, all the parts you need and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so here we go. All right, so here's what you need. Um, the tensioner, obviously. Um, the two bolts that mount it. Uh, the uh, idler that goes here. And the bolt that holds that on. That's all OEM stuff. Um, and then the, uh, the cam tensioner that's on here. So, uh, just the OEM 1.8T stuff. Uh, nothing is from a different car or aftermarket or anything like that. It all fits like uh, OEM. So, um, I'm going to show you guys how to install this, torque everything, get the belt tension set, get the motor timed right, and, uh, and then we'll go forward. Alright guys, let's get into timing this engine. Uh, so I've got the crank pulley sitting at TDC, and I've got the cam sitting close to the, the TDC mark, but because of the, cam, the valve springs and everything, it, it kind of likes to rock back about a tooth. Um, so, uh, it's kind of difficult to get these to line up, uh, but there's a trick. There's a pretty easy way to do this. So, uh, basically what I do is... Uh, your cam moves at half the speed of the crank, so if you need to move one tooth here, you need to move this crank about two teeth worth of uh, movement to, to match it. So um, what I usually do is I just rotate this crank back and I can kind of walk the belt around as I do it. Rotate the crank back about twice as far as this mark needs to move on on the uh, to line up with the timing mark on the valve cover so uh, it's pretty easy to do and if you look as I start to, to tighten this up so we're still a teeth off there we need to go one more teeth so I'm back maybe about an inch between these marks now But, I can see that I'm about, when I tight, kind of put some tension on this tensioner, I got about three quarters of an inch here, and a little over three eighths here. So, between the marks. So, I think that if I put the tensioner on and then rotate this into to to TDC to line up with the mark, I think the cam is going to line up perfectly. So, let's go about installing this tensioner. So, pretty straightforward. I just kind of hold this, this uh, tensioner up a little bit to get the bolt started. Start with the bottom one here. Get that one started. And then just kind of push this up underneath that tensioner and get that next one started. Now before I uh, go start tensioning this, I obviously need to get this, this idler pulley on there. So. I'm just going to back this off a little bit, give myself some room, and then just get the bolt started for this. Alright, so in order to get this stuff torqued up properly, I had to go right, grab a torque wrench here real quick. Alright, got my torque wrench. Uh, these mounting bolts, these two 10 millimeters. Uh, those go to 11 foot-pounds, which isn't a ton. And then uh, this idler pulley is 15 foot-pounds. So, now that I got that mounted, I think I got my timing marks where I want them. It's pretty simple to just 3 16 Allen wrench. and just adjust this tensioner up until you have proper belt tension. And what we're looking for 
is to be able to turn this longest leg of the belt about 90 degrees. Um, but given that this is a Kevlar belt and probably not quite as stretchy as, uh, as the rubber ones, the neoprene ones, um, I, I think I want it a little bit tighter. So I'm going to kind of get it snug here. And then I'm going to rotate this motor around. So I'm going to bring, let me show you where these timing marks are sitting. Hopefully you can see that. So the timing mark is actually sitting here and the reference mark on the case cover is over there. So they're about three quarters of an inch apart. And then on these cam, um, let's see if I can get it lined up here where you can see it. It's rotated about a tooth back. So, I think that if I bring this into zero here, yep. So the, the valve springs are trying to make it rotate back. But you can see that that's lined up on zero, hopefully. And the cam is dead nuts also. So, pretty easy trick to get these things timed in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rotate this engine around the crank twice, so it's a full, full cycle of the engine. Carefully, make sure nothing feels funny. And then I'm going to bring this back to zero. And make sure everything lines up still, which it does. And check that belt tension. Which I like that. I can turn it about 60 degrees. So I'm pretty happy with that. So that's all there is to it. And then all I have to do is lock down this nut and, uh, and it's good to go. So that's the new uh, belt tensioner setup I came up with. Uh, I made some provisions for uh, putting a guard on here. So there'll be, there's on the factory tensioner. The factory tensioner, it kind of has a guard that encloses that, that belt housing when you have all the covers on. Um, so I made some provisions here and I'm actually 3D printing a prototype right now for a guard um, that I'll be probably making just out of sheet metal. And, uh, and then these will also come with that, that guard included. Uh, so it'll be a, a nice setup that uses all the factory housings. Um, and uh, you know, keeps everything out of the out of the belt belt housings there, any debris or anything. And uh, yeah, so I think it'll be I think it'll be pretty good. So I'm going to uh, just lock this nut down, just kind of hand tight, and make sure that 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 tensioner is not going to go anywhere. Um, with these Kevlar belts, I would probably check it fairly often because I know they do stretch a little bit right at first. Uh, so, you know, check it after a few thousand miles, 5,000 miles maybe. Uh, make sure it's still the proper tension. Um, but yeah, that's the new setup. So, I think it'll be good. And I'll, uh, I'll do another video, a real quick video showing the cover once I get that done. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyway, I'll see you guys soon.